all right so what is going on today youtube well let's reload these because these done went down for no reason all right so anyways uh what is going on today youtube got a special video for you guys today now i did want to talk about what do, what, what do you guys think or what i think is going to we're going to get in the new set extreme force for the vendors price because it is right here and i know pretty much everybody knows that we are going to get our last wave of support for quite some time probably so what are we going to get what could possibly come out and stuff like that so as we go over here i wanted to talk about pretty much uh what uh well, what what the stuff i mean what the deck it already re resolves around and we can pretty much base i guess some of our assumptions off of this now uh if you guys do not know already revenge dreads are pretty much based off of the resident evil game um so as you can see um with tyrant uh if we go right over here you can see he looks very similar to uh to uh, revenge dread slayer um, and it can chimera which they say is the thing but I, I like i watch like resident evil like bosses and stuff like that or like some of the gameplay of the remaster and i've seen something it looks it doesn't look like this but it looks very similar it's like two monsters or something like that put together and as you can see these are the zombie dogs that you know the revenant and stuff like that and in in chrome that you all see in the game so let's go ahead and just do this right now um as you can see there's the zombie dog which is hound horde there's the Revenants, which is, you know, Vendred Revenants. And then this is the Crow that are in the game. Um, and also, um, the spell cards. Everything else has pretty much, you know, a little background to it. The T-Virus is Revenred Origin, which is, you know, on this. As you can see, they're going through a little bit of things. Um, also, uh, what is it? Raccoon City. This is pretty much Vendred Knights. So, if you guys don't know what Vendred Knights is. Okay, well, you know, let's just open that up. And then, like, the T-Virus is pretty much... Um, the infection uh, is contagious disease experienced by a wide wide range of life forms from humans to plants caused by the T virus now um, alien thing I did not did I click on that yes I did but yeah you can see this is raccoon city and as you can see like you know ty the tyrant is coming in and doing a lot of stuff but it does look kind of Slayer, Slayer does look kind of human so it's like you know it's a little weird about where they you know got that from but as you can see reorigin is like I said the, I think the virus isn't yeah, Revendred, oh no, Vendred Reorgin is the zombie affection. You see everybody turn into a zombie. And Reunion is also like that slug looking, like Chimera. This is pretty much Chimera. So, what I wanted to talk about is the new wave of support. Now, as you can see, which I don't, I don't think that it's, what's the name? I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think that it's a coincidence. I think they're really planning this out. Strigis is two, Hound Ward is three. This is a four, five, and a six. Now, that's not uncommon. Um, in a ritual type deck, but I'm thinking that they're going to go off of that. So two, three, and four. What is that equal? It equals nine. So I'm thinking that if we do get another ritual, we get our boss ritual, which is going to be a level nine or a level eight, whatever they depend on doing. Um, I would hope that they go level. Ooh, excuse me, but I would hope they go level nine because it opens up a lot of great. It gives us more mobility, I guess, as in to. Uh, to get i mean more monsters we can use you know we can do more things but we can get all three effects on one monster which you currently can't do so i'm guessing that they're going to do that because why make all these when you can't equip them all to one monster um so if you guys know about resident evil you know the popular most the, the most popular tyrant which is pretty much slayer is nemesis the t-type so um wait I don't even know why I said T-Type, but yeah, Nemesis is the most popular Tyrant, so hopefully Konami does, oh look, speaking of Resident Evil, look at the background, but yeah, um, hopefully Konami says, you know what, we're going to go all the way with it, which is bring, giving us, you know, the most popular one, because I wouldn't, I mean, if, if the franchise is pretty much the most popular enemy in the whole franchise is Nemesis, and you're making a Resident Evil archetype, why would you not, you know, why would you not do that, so I'm thinking that's what it would it's going to be it's either gonna be a level eight to nine ritual it's probably gonna have something like 3,000 base attack hopefully 3,500 I'm swinging wild folks but I'm just saying the most likely it's gonna be 3,000 but there's, it, there's nothing wrong if they give us 3,500 and then if you guys do know about nemesis or you don't know about nemesis when he comes down he just starts killing everything so basically when this card would be special summoned let's destroy all cards my opponent controls 
you know or you can destroy everything because nemesis don't care who you are he's just gonna kill you so it could destroy everything on the field um and then you know only you know zombies or vendreds can attack i'm pretty sure they're gonna add that to it because you're gonna say 3,000 or you know anything higher um monster that summons like jd and blows up the board i know they're not gonna give us a jd they learned their lesson from jd but jd literally blows up the board and attacks with 3,000. it doesn't restrict anything else but us being zombies they have to restrict because mizuki is a problem and um yeah so i'm saying why the, when this card is special summon because um if it only happens when it's ritual summon it's not really nemesis because nemesis comes back millions of times and it just keeps you know it keeps you know doing what it's doing um also it will tie in very well to the uh what is it the or the what is it uh, called the vendred reunion trap because you can ritual summon on your opponent's turn and you know that would be very you know fun to do just ritual summon and then bam and then also the, the, i'm saying special summon because it would lend itself to mizuki and obviously it's got to be once per turn like once per turn the effect happens so obviously that but it lends itself to mizuki and it lends itself to the zombie archetype which they do just special be special summon from the grave and that's what nemesis does nemesis whenever it dies it comes right back and it you know it does what it does it comes back later in the game so um it's probably um going to have something some type of recursion effect i'm guessing if they do make this card it has to have a destruction effect and it has to have it could be a send or uh, i mean no destruction because if you do send it gets a little crazy but it definitely has to be a it's going to be some type of recursion effect um probably add back it's probably going to say something like the opposite of slayer um hopefully it says something the opposite of slayer where you can add back a origin to your hand and you know special summon uh, a vendred from your deck or graveyard or something like that i know i'm, I'm swinging wild folks but we need some damn help all right um, and then also we don't have a level one so i guess we can go with a level one where it's you know it does it does something like you know meaningless but it does help out the deck probably searches it would have sent to the graveyard you could search a vendor spell a trap that would be very fucking good um <laughs> so hopefully we get something like that for the level one but also what nemesis could possibly be if we do get it is a link monster now i know it doesn't really lend itself to the archetype but man would that be amazing if we just got like a, a link monster um and i you know what the link monster is going to be it's definitely going to be a link three that points like it's going to have the weirdest weirdest angle it's going to point up it's going to point left to right and it's going to point like diagonal or something like that it's not it's, it's going to be something crazy because once again you can revive it um with what's the name you can revive it with uh mizuki or something like that but that's really like that's that's not what i'm expecting i'm expecting another ritual monster and then since we did get five cards in the first one i believe yeah did we, we got five cards in the first one we got slayer hound horde revenants origin and reorigin in the first and then we got uh reunion knights strigis and chimera in the second one so i'm guessing it's three so if we get a ritual monster um, I'm guessing we're either going to get a ritual. Uh, so if we get a ritual monster, then that means we have to get a ritual spell and a trap. Um, I'm talking about not a ritual spell, but a Vendred spell. So something that does like that. I don't know. It could probably be special summon the Vendred from your deck or return Vendreds to your graveyard. I don't know. Something like that. Hopefully something like that. But um, if we do get another four or five cards, you can definitely expect um, a level one monster or something like that. But yeah. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, Nemesis would, you know, be an actual good, like a level nine ritual monster to actually come out and do some damage, I guess? I mean, th that'd be very fun for us. But, you know, knowing Konami, we're probably going to get a level. Um, let me see. Uh, what else? I mean, I guess we're going to get a level seven ritual that uh, can only be brought out once per turn. Um, and it's going to it's going to do something mediocre. But hopefully we do get something like Nemesis or of the sort thank you guys uh, for watching uh, that was a very quick uh i guess turnaround but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you guys did enjoy it. what do you think we're going to get in the next set do you guys have any suggestions on the next set let me know down below and i will see you guys tomorrow